Hi. <laughs> the babies have arrived. So today is a very exciting day. Today I'm going to finally adopt my kittens. So if you haven't seen my last video, I think I titled it like I'm a mother or something like that. Basically my friend found these two kittens on the side of the road. She picked them up, she put them on her Instagram story and she asked did anyone want them. And I literally, as soon as I saw it, I was like, I do. But at the time I still lived at home. And I do have family that's allergic to cats, so I couldn't really take them at the time. So we had to come up with a plan. But anyways, long story short, I'll get more into that once I get the cats and once they're here. But long story short, today is the day that I finally get to see them. It's actually been months since I've seen them. And I have just been nonstop thinking about them. I've been like hoping that the day would come sooner. And today is finally that day. So I am going to go get my cats. This is literally like such a surreal moment because like I said, I've been waiting for these cats for months. Like literally, I'm so out of breath because I'm out of shape. Like I literally met these cats for the first time, I believe it was in June and it's now September. So I have been waiting for these cats for a long time. So right now I'm just putting together the carrier. I hope it's big enough because like I said, the last time I saw them was in June. I feel like they can fit in this. I'm gonna hope for the best. I don't know, this seems kind of small, I'm not gonna lie. Carrier's all set and ready to go for the pickup. I'm so excited. Okay, so this is one of the litter boxes that I have to put together. I was gonna use this as the main one because it's really cute, but I'm not sure if they like litter boxes with covers on them. So I did get another one that was like $5, that's a topless one, but I'm gonna put them both in the bathroom for the first night, see which one they prefer more, but for right now I'm gonna put this one together. get them a whole like pack of toys to last them for the meantime until I buy them some more but it did come with like this turnable cat toy as well as like some regular balls and strings for them to play with and this is like I said just for the meantime until I can get them some more which I probably might get them some today when I get them but in the meantime this will last them Okay, so here's the thing. I didn't film any of the actual pickup because I wanted to focus on what I was doing and all of the information that she was telling me about the cats because these are literally my first, my first ever pets myself. So I wanted to focus and make sure I understood everything that was going on. So I didn't film anything. I did get some of their food while I was there and they did give me a couple toys for free. So, you know, love that. But like I said, I didn't film any of that because I wanted to pay attention to what the heck was happening. The babies have arrived. This one is Suki. She is the most affectionate. <laughs> and this one is my little agey boy. It's going to be a week tomorrow since I've had them. I kind of wanted to film after we were more comfortable with each other instead of filming on day one because they weren't even comfortable with me. They didn't even know me. Well, they know me, but they don't know me, you know? So I wanted to get more comfortable, get everything situated before I sat down and started filming. Go ahead. So I believe it was around June where my friends Shayla and Lola, you've seen them on the channel probably multiple times at this point, but they found them on the side of the road. They were like, this small, malnourished, AG looked like a rat, I'm not even gonna lie, but they found them on the street, 
It took them forever to like wrestle them up, especially Suki. I'm pretty sure Shayla said that Suki bit her when she finally caught her. They caught them that day. Shayla put it on her Instagram story and she asked, did anyone want any cats? And at the time, I still lived at home, but I had a feeling I was moving out like extremely soon. If not extremely soon, within the next one to two months, I knew I was going to move out. So I swiped up on her story and I was just like, I want them. How can we work this out? So she had told me that this organization had also reached out to her and asked if anyone had claimed them yet. Um, I believe the organization is called Lorca. I'll put it here uh, when I find out. But this organization who hosts adoptions for animals was interested in these cats. So she was just like, if you want them, we need to hurry up and figure out a plan because I know you still live at home. So we need to figure out like a plan for you to get them. She showed me the cats. We immediately washed them. Well, she washed them because I was scared of fleas and I didn't want to take that home to my dog. So she washed them, but I helped blow dry <laughs> and I towel dried them. And after she blow dried them, AJ immediately started to fall asleep in my in my one hand. He fell asleep, and Suki immediately crawled into my lap and fell asleep. So I was literally stuck sitting in the same position for a long, long time until we had decided, you know, we sit down and come up with a game plan. Well, we talked about it. I asked friends, I asked family, and no one could hold these cats for me. So Shayla ended up messaging the people with the company or the organization to see if they would hold them for me until I was ready. So they said they would hold them for me, but the only problem was is that if they held them for me, I would have to actually go through the system and apply for an adoption. I wouldn't be guaranteed to get them back. So that was kind of like, uh, I don't know if I want to do that because I wanted to be guaranteed that I'm getting them back. They gave us a night to think about it. Long story short, we decided just give them to the organization. If at the end of the day I don't move out when I want to move out and I can't get them, at least they're going to go to a good home. So ended up giving them to the organization. Shayla and I drove them and the nicest people, super extremely nice lady, gave them to her and she was like, it's not guaranteed that you're going to get the cats back, but it's like a good, good, good possibility that you're going to get them back. So I was like, okay. So I ended up applying for them. Well, I thought about it some more because I was just like, do I really want these cats? Because I've never had pets of my own. Like I said, my dog is my family dog, so I've never had pets of my own. I've never had this responsibility just on myself. So I was like, Am I even ready for cats? Like, am I financially ready for cats? Am I mentally ready for cats? Because I don't know anything about anything. So, at the end of the day, I was just like, well, like I said, I'll apply. If I ever change my mind before I even get them, I can always just say, hey, I changed my mind. Please give them to a better home or a better fit. So, at the end of the day, it all worked out. I was approved. And then months go by and the reason that months go by is because since they were cats that were found on the street they were more susceptible to illnesses because they were out on the street we don't know how long they could have been dropped out there or they could have been birthed out there we don't know while they were in their care ag had some kind of parasite i can't remember off the top of my head exactly what it was but it was a kind of parasite and it's a very serious parasite um, he could have died mainly because he was a kitten and they only weighed like two pounds. They had to do two rounds of medication for both of them. Suki didn't have it, but you know, since they're together, they had to do them together. Finally, they started gaining weight and then AG ended up catching, I believe, roundworm. And that kind of backtracked even more. And so all this time we were waiting for them to gain weight so they could be three pounds because once they were three pounds, then we can get them spayed and neutered and then I can take them home. But since AG kept getting sick, it kind of kept pushing things back. So like I said, this was June all the way to September, which is now. So finally, 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 they both reached three pounds. AG is finally three pounds. At this point, Suki's almost four pounds waiting on him. They make it to three pounds and the adoption is set and I go to pick them up. Now, I was extremely nervous at this point. I almost was like, is this a good idea? Like, should I be doing this? It all worked out. I got them. The first couple of nights were interesting. They don't really, I, I kept them in the bathroom and they don't really meow at night. They mainly meow when they hear me walking around out, outside. 
but during the nighttime, at least I don't hear them. They don't really make a lot of noise. But yeah, so now they're home. It's officially been a week tomorrow. It's been a time. <laughs> I am officially a mother. <laughs> Baby, I can feel it with you Maybe you feel the same with me too